If you're interested in designing your own things for 3D printing, but you're not sure what program to use, then this video is for you. I'll go ahead and list the most popular programs. So we have Blender, Autodesk Fusion, SolidWorks, Tinkercad, FreeCAD, OnShape, SketchUp, and ZBrush. And I think there's one that is objectively the best, especially for practical 3D printing. So now let's go ahead and do a deeper dive into these programs here. So let's go ahead and start with Blender. So Blender is free and open source. Uh, it's a 3D modeling program. It's not a CAD program, uh, which means you're editing a mesh and not a solid body. So it's better for, uh, it's not super accurate for practical things. Uh, it's good for animation and some would say it has a steep learning curve. So the benefit is it's free, completely free and open source, uh, but it could be moderately difficult to get the hang of, but it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So let's go ahead and move on to Autodesk Fusion here. So Fusion is a powerful CAD program, fairly powerful. It could, once you get really big uh, designs, it could start slowing down. But it's completely free for personal use with some limitations, which aren't really that limiting uh, in my opinion. Uh, so basically, Fusion 360, very powerful, free for hobbyists. It's moderately difficult, it's actually not as difficult as people think, and it's available for Windows and Mac. So now if we go to SolidWorks here, go back to the SolidWorks page. Uh, so it's more of a professional program, but they are going into the hobbyist market. So they have a, a relatively affordable uh, license you get for hobbyists, uh, but it's not free. They do have a free trial though. And uh, it's a little bit more difficult to use. However, uh, that difficulty gives you a little bit more power with your designs and it's more performant as well. Fusion 360 kind of bogs down with huge designs, uh, but SolidWorks, uh, it's, it's a little bit, um, the, the program itself uh, runs faster. Um, but a huge drawback, at least for me, because I have a, a, a MacBook Pro, it's only available for Windows. Now let's go ahead and move on to Tinkercad here. So Tinkercad, as you can tell just by looking at the web page here, it's very beginner friendly, browser based. The only drawback, or it's a huge drawback actually, is that you don't get that much control of your design. Uh, you can see even their example project here in the front is all just kind of made up with basic shapes. So technically easier to use, but you can't really do much with it, which I personally think makes it more difficult to use. Now let's go ahead and move on to FreeCAD, another open source uh, CAD software. Uh, it has a strong community, but it does have a relatively steep learning curve. It's not that easy to use. So compared to uh, Fusion 360 or Autodesk Fusion, it's a lot more difficult, but it is free and open source. So there's kind of the trade-off there. Um, steeper learning curve, free. I would say moderately hard, uh, also available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Let's go on to Onshape here. So Onshape is a, uh, they're all kind of, a lot of them are now cloud-based. So another cloud-based CAD software and does have a free uh, personal use version, but it does require internet. Uh, so free for non-commercial use. Uh, also moderate, uh, maybe somewhere between Autodesk Fusion and SolidWorks, uh, but it is web-based, which I guess could be good or bad. Uh, let's move on to SketchUp here. So SketchUp, I would say it's not really great for uh, designing for 3D printing, as you can even tell by their branding and their marketing here on the front page. They're kind of positioning it towards architectural uh, mock-ups. So I'm gonna just put this at the bottom of the list here. Now let's go ahead and move on to ZBrush. So ZBrush is a really cool program that I am horrible at personally, uh, but some people are really good at ZBrush and you can make some crazy looking, um, really cool, like people make miniatures and that type of thing. So not at all a CAD program at all, more kind of like Blender. Um, you could do sculpting and you could sculpt really cool, I don't know, monsters or whatever people like to do. And it's that ZBrush. So there's a breakdown of the programs here, but which one do I think is objectively the best? All right, now let's go ahead and compare them on this chart here. So here we have a chart and we have the capabilities over here from weak. So the lower it is, the weaker it is. And the most, uh, the higher up we go, the more powerful the program is, the more capable it is. And the further we go to the left, the more difficult the program is. And the further to the right, the easier, it's easier to use the further we go to the right. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with Blender. So Blender is not easy. It's relatively difficult, yet it's very powerful. Probably one of the most powerful and performant programs on this list. Moving on to Autodesk Tinker Tinkercad, <laughs> excuse me. Tinkercad is easy, but it's pretty weak. So almost on the exact uh, opposite here. So the, the winning uh, 
Where we want to be basically is up on this top right corner. That's where the winner will go. All right, we have free cat. It's not too difficult uh, or not too easy. It's a little bit moderate. Uh, and we'll put it right about here to uh, free cat. Let's make it smaller here. On shape. So I'll say on shape is a little bit easier and probably a little bit more powerful as well. SketchUp, uh, it's, it's easy to use and for 3D printing, it's not really what we want. So I'm gonna say right about here. Okay, Fusion 360, we'll hold off on that one. Let's go to ZBrush. So ZBrush uh, is very difficult. It's more specific for sculpting, uh, but it is, uh, I'm gonna put it over here. It's like so difficult all the way over here, but it's also very powerful, but it's very niche specific for sculpting. Uh, okay, so Fusion, where should we put Fusion? Fusion is, I would say it's actually pretty easy and it's also decently powerful. Now I noticed there's no uh, SolidWorks on here, so I have to add SolidWorks. So SolidWorks, add that here. So we have SolidWorks, not the real logo, obviously. Uh, SolidWorks is a little bit more difficult, but probably a little bit more powerful than Fusion and Onshape. So in my opinion, Fusion 360, or now Autodesk Fusion, is, in my opinion, objectively the best program all around for designing practical things for 3D printing, with the balance of it being uh, free, uh, with no trial, just completely free with some limitations. Uh, it's actually really easy to use, and it's really powerful. So I highly recommend that everyone learns Autodesk Fusion. If you don't learn Fusion, Blender's a good second bet. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's also powerful. SolidWorks and Onshape, they're both great programs. I personally think Autodesk Fusion and Blender are better choices. And ultimately, if you had to pick, I would pick Autodesk Fusion. Now, if you want to learn more about Autodesk Fusion, I have tutorials on this channel. Um, and if you want a huge uh, deep dive with a bunch of lessons, completely comprehensive, I also have a Autodesk Fusion 360 masterclass. So go ahead and check the links in the description um, for all of that. Uh, the free tutorials on YouTube, as well as the masterclass video course, um, which is very comprehensive. Uh, it'll just jumpstart your learning with uh, Autodesk Fusion. I use Fusion to design all of my stuff. Highly recommend, great program. So you don't need to get overwhelmed with all the different options. You just choose Fusion or Blender. But I think Fusion's better for practical things. Hope you found this video helpful. I didn't have enough time to really make it as polished as other videos, but that's kind of the point of this tutorials channel. Just trying to get you the information you need to know. So thanks for watching, happy printing, and my name is Steven from 3D Printer Academy.